Hello, and welcome to our final video presentation designed to acquaint you with the third edition of the CQI 11 Plating System Assessment. These videos will familiarize you with the document layout and the overall process, train you on how to complete each section, and provide insight into the exact expectations for completion of the assessment. The AIAG Continuous Quality Improvement, or CQI 11 Assessment, was developed as a self-assessment to help automotive suppliers develop a planning management system to meet the electroplating industry's best practices. A team of process experts, including chemical suppliers, industry consultants, applicators, and automotive OEMs contributed to the development of this document. In this video, we will review the Equipment Verification and Calibration Table and then close with some comments about the CQI Special Process Assessments from AIAG. A calibration is a comparison between the values indicated by a measuring instrument, measuring system, or measuring device, and the corresponding values realized by standards or field test equipment. As used herein, a calibration may also include verification that specified requirements, such as tolerances, performance, or other decision criteria, have been met. Calibration may also include actions to take when requirements have not been met, like a calibration adjustment. Verification refers to the providing of objective evidence that a given item fulfills specified requirements. The Equipment Verification and Calibration Table is applicable to all of the equipment used as part of the plating process, whether it is used for controlling the process or inspecting the final part. Requirements are provided for Process and test equipment, process monitoring frequencies, in process test frequencies, final test frequencies. Refer to the individual process tables for the tolerances of process checks, frequencies for process control parameters, and part testing. Each process table has a unique listing of the test and process equipment utilized in system control. This equipment table is designed only to specify calibration and verification frequencies. NA may only be used for equipment that is not relevant to the process. The CQI 11 team put an enormous amount of effort and time into developing the third edition. When we first met in June 2015, the expectation was to complete the new edition in 10 to 12 months, but we did not set a deadline, only a commitment to do whatever was necessary to create the best version yet. This process required five years to complete. Throughout the process, the focus was on increasing clarity in necessary inputs and improving the value of the responses to the understood end users, the Tier 1s and OEMs. But the user with the most to gain from the assessment is actually your organization. The practices highlighted through exacting questions and guidance are not wishes. They are the current expectations of your customers and the actual systems employed by your best competitors. The assessment process provides extraordinary insight on how your organization can become a best-in-class supplier. The CQI 11 team hopes these guidelines are not used to satisfy an administrative responsibility, but as a tool to drive constant improvement. In that spirit, we review the effectiveness of the current edition every three years after publication. We always appreciate your thoughts and any recommendations to improve subsequent versions. Better yet, if you would like to join our team and get your voice heard, please contact AIAG directly. This concludes our series of six videos intended to guide you through the changes implemented in version 3 of the CQI 11 assessment. For more in-depth training, check out AIAG's course on Understanding the Plating and Coding Special Process System Assessments. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, contact quality at AIAG.org. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this series.